Good morning. It is a Wednesday here for me. It's about 5.30, just getting ready to leave for work. Today we're going back to the job where we ripped out that enormous deck and we're gonna start setting forms. I really just wanna set the job up. It's way too hot to be pouring concrete in the afternoon today. Uh, it's supposed to be 95 or 96 again today. It was the same yesterday and it was not feeling good. So I'm gonna take this trash out. I will see you guys at the coffee shop. How much garbage do we make? Morning, Joe. Morning, how good, how are you? I'm okay. All right, well, have a good day. You too, how are you today? All right, it's hot. hot. Real hot. hot. Yeah, yep. Morning, Lisa. Good morning. How are you today? Fine. How are you? Yeah, right. Good morning, Ryan. Good morning, Mizzy. Okay, it is 6.08. I'm just pulling into the yard. Nobody else is here right now. But that's okay. Eric's here. Francisco's here. Morning. Morning, Morning Ryan. Morning, Ryan. Why is your hair all nice? Got a haircut. You did? Yeah. You wow. looked like a monkey yesterday. I'm going to bring this stamp and try to talk him into doing this one on the middle because it's so big. Yeah. It would be a lot easier just to texture it and then maybe do a board or two and then i could saw cut it up real real small sections on a 45 it would look awesome daryl texted me he said he's on the way you think he's coming though how about you yeah i think he's coming I think he, he marcel's here wow daryl nice motorcycle thanks smoking <laughs> i know it's hot I'll pass on the <laughs> why you were nervous you were gonna be late sweating hot already All right, we are loaded up. That truck is out of fuel completely, so I gotta meet Daryl at the gas station. We'll see what Diesel's up to today. I know it went up pretty significantly since the last time I bought Diesel. He's so strong, Eric. Try to hold it back a little bit so it doesn't give him ringing ear. I'm serious, that's really loud, man. Nice. Are you guys gonna stop and get ice? We got waters, yeah, ice. Get, get ice and waters. It's uh -huh. too hot for this. Yeah, I know. I'll, I'll meet you at the gas station. Yeah. All right, we're leaving. We are leaving. It's in the low 80s already, and it's early. 6:41. Diesel today in Wisconsin is 5.29, which is up 29 cents, I believe, since the last time I got it. It was 4.99. The good news is none of my trucks have def fluid. I have all old trucks, no emission stuff on any of these. And I heard that def fluid could become a real problem later on this year. I'm trying to eat salty stuff today. The gift of the gifts of imperfection. Yeah, like what we think you're supposed to be and embrace who you are. I don't know how to read, so <laughs> if there's not an audio book, it's not for me. No? Yeah, I'm just kidding, I know how to read. How would I have read the cover? I didn't even <laughs> <laughs> all right i am here on the job 716 and i gotta talk with the homeowner i got the color charts and then i brought a stamp see if you're interested in that one okay sounds good see you later yep you thank you so the original plan was to pour gray concrete in the center and then a stamp border all the way around the perimeter of the inside as well you know by the house we're gonna do like a 16 inch wide border i might even do 18 inches i'm trying to talk him into doing an aggressive texture slate in the center i think it would look really cool so what i would really like to do is uh pour the border and then do that slate in the center and then cut a whole bunch of joints with the soft cut saw the next day on a 45. i think that would look really really nice i think you'd be really happy with that we got to bury some downspouts. He wants one there. And I should have asked him where he wants the other one. But I didn't. I forgot. All right. I think the guys are here. We're going to go ahead and get started. I got to get a bunch of this gravel out of here. We got to take all those 2 by 12 off the wall. Worst case scenario, we'll just cut them from the outside. And then pull the boards off. And then cut them again flush with the brick. That might be the easier way to do it. Morning, girls. A little chilly out today. Yeah, funny. All right, Marcel's pulling all the bolts out. 
Some of them are spinning, some of them are pulling right out. Grab a tape measure, pencil, chalk line, six foot level. The screen's got to come off, and these bricks got to go too. And then we'll just pour a new threshold of concrete. I'm looking skinnier, ain't I? Yeah. Can you tell? Twenty five pounds. I mean, I still got a long way to go, but I'm making good progress. Yeah, man, this is perfect. It's like six and a half inches. I know, but this is gonna have to get ripped custom, so I'm gonna have to do it. All right, we got our height there in the wall. And it worked out perfect with the driveway. It's got just a little bit of pitch. You can see there's probably an inch and a half from there out that way. And then we're gonna pitch it out behind me towards the lawn. This is gonna work out great. It's a raccoon or a possum, one or the other. I'm not a. Can I have that pan? I need it. I know, I want to. Okay. Well, to keep the skull then. Put it on the dash of your dump truck. The destroyer. Kind of goes with the theme, you know? All right, so that window well is going to be a problem. We're going to have to raise that up. Got it? I got to pull it really tight. Wrap it around your finger because this it'll, it'll sag. Untie that string from that pin up there, please. Thank you! Don't I got a square? Nah, I got a square in my eye. I didn't know if it was on today or not. I got a laser and a square. <laughs> Alright, so I got some marks off the garage. We're gonna use that to square it up. Make sure everything's perfect. Oh, that doesn't look right, but... That's what it's saying, it's way out here. Which means I gotta dig a little bit more of this grass out. Come here with your shovels. Dig this out right here. I'll just come around with the skid loader then. All right, this window up is too low by about two and a half inches, so I want to raise it up. It's bolted to the wall, so we're going to have to cut those. All right, thank you. Wow, ice cream. He's trying to get customer of the year award. You can start to picture it now. You know the heights there's no there's not a step off over there it'll just be flush with the lawn now francisco grab that grinder with the cutting wheel again we're gonna need a two foot window well you got to dig down once the window walls out so we got two feet so the new window wall Almost two feet, Almost like 20, 22 inches is fine because the new window wall can be two inches above. Okay. But it's going to be two feet, so you got to dig down quite a bit. Four more inches, like straight down, so we can just drop it in and bolt it to the wall. I'm going to run the Menards and get a window wall real quick. Just start grading. Just run this, you can run the strings this way. 
Got it. All right, that's all I need. Thank you. Thank you. All right, I'm back. What are you doing? Getting cool shots. Okay. If you're waiting for Daryl, it could be a while. Why don't you go dump that and get gravel? Because we're going to be ready for gravel like really soon. Yeah. I'm going now, yeah. Close all the boxes. Make sure you got the the uh, steel cutting steel blade for the saw. No. You got your knife, glue, everything you need. Just do all the felt and the rods. If you run a few rods short, I'll, I'll, I'll pick some up. And make sure you compact first. Somebody's got to compact first. I got to run now and get some more 2x4s. We are totally out. Thankfully, Menards is not very far away. I want to get these borders 100% set because I got concrete ordered for the morning. And I'm hoping that works out. It is supposed to thunderstorm tonight. I'm hoping it stops by early tomorrow morning, but I guess we'll just wait and find out. Here at Menards, you have to drive around to the outside storage. And uh, they have a checkpoint, I guess you call it. And you gotta wait, which I do not like doing. Okay, thanks. All right, sir. Sixteen foot. Here we go. Got him. Now I gotta find twelve straight ones, which is always the trick. That was not bad. All right, we got one. All right, that was easy. The lumber is relatively straight here at Menards. I probably only went through 20 to get 12 straight ones. That ain't bad at all. All right, I will move the cone and then you're good to go. Thank you. All right, I'm back with the two by fours. They should have all the felt and rods in. I'm just gotta slam the two by fours in and I gotta set that threshold, clean everything up real good. That's about it. Very easy. All right, that's all graded, all 1,200 square feet of it. So we gotta drill rods, put the felt, and then we gotta put all our inside boards for the border. You gotta measure it square off the two by four. I would just put, just put, just put this one in and mark it. I'm putting this string up right now and you can just mark it. Make sure those boards are perfect on the string. Borders are very, very important. Something's wrong with this form. This, this form's like an inch higher than the string. Well, you hit it with the bobcat, didn't he? The destroyer strikes again. Apparently, he moved it like an inch. So We cut another foot off of it so we can get in here with the buggy. Un unnail these two and then slide it that way and cut another foot or foot foot and a half off okay. so the buggy can cruise right through here tomorrow morning i want to do some kind of tan or brown here i hope they don't do gray like everybody else has been doing i'm so tired of the gray man and i gotta bury it down so i'll go straight down the pole and of course the concrete's right in my way why can't we just do something and it works out smooth eric ice is here boss uh yeah uh 
I don't know. It depends what you want. Do you want to estimate or are you going to write a ticket? I just had a bunch of complaints about the trailer on the top of the hill and the road. That's You're not getting out of here. You can go put the trailer and park down there. You're staying here until we're ready to leave. All right. Thank you, guys. We'll get that move. Thank you. As far as colors go, are you going to be the decision maker? No. Okay, good. Because I really actually need to decide colors with you because we're going to pour the borders in the morning and I have to give her a heads up before 4.30. Put some gravel now, under here. Look at how we're working, it's all in the shade. Lucky. Oh, wow. Wow. Hey, put a bunch of gravel in here before you come with the bucket. That basketball hoop wasn't gonna move. It's stronger than I thought. <laughs> I would have just used a bobcat, scooped it right off. That's good. Oh, come on! You! Out! And you hit the electric line, just like I said you would. All right, we are done setting up. I apologize for the wind noise. Uh, that went pretty good. Super, super hot right now. Uh, but it really wasn't that bad. It wasn't too much physical labor. Borders are all set. 15 inch borders all the way around. This patio is about 1,200 square feet. It's a big one. Threshold is set. Obviously, we're gonna rot all this up real good in the morning. We're hoping to pour this. Just finished up the downspouts. You guys are raking stuff out and we're out of here. Adios. 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 Good morning. It is a Thursday here for me, which is pretty close to my favorite. It is 536 right now. Just getting ready to leave for work. Today we're going to go pour the colored and stamp borders on that really big patio. Last night I talked them into also stamping the interior of the patio. So that whole big patio is stamped. The middle is just aggressive texture slate, so it should be a really good looking patio. It's been brutally hot for us the last couple days. It's been 96. Uh, today it's, it's cooled down. It's only going to be 90, which is still pretty hot. Uh, so today we're just going to pour the borders, and then I'm going to cut the guys free and give them the afternoon off. I got a bunch of stuff to do, which will help me as well. So I'm going to take this trash out. I'll see you guys at the coffee shop. How much garbage do we make? I don't see Scott. Morning, Ms. Z. Morning, Lisa. Good. You know, I didn't see Scott this morning. I don't know where he is. Is he? All right. I do. Morning, Scott. Hi, goodbye. At least I saw him. So I don't see him. That's like my first step to a bad day. No, I knew it. That's why I grabbed him. Nope, that's it. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right, I'm pulling into the yard. It is 613, and it looks like I'm the first one here again. Hey, Eric and Francisco are here. We need these right here. These stamps. You really just need eight, but make sure you grab this floppy one. Okay. See this thinner one? Yeah. We make sure we have that. It's really important. Man, it's, it's cold today. It's only going to be 90 instead of 96. It's nice, though. I like this. <laughs> At least it ain't raining during the day. Yeah. Man, two oh, we had what? two tornadoes yesterday. Really? Yeah, just Where, west, of, west of here. Oh. Right in a huge thunderstorm, he always leaves my windows open. I'm going to get a really funny looking pink hat. And every time somebody does something dumb, they got to be the pink hat for the day. Oh, like, like, the pink, like the pink helmet? Like the helmet last year, yeah. Something that's really hot too that has like a <laughs> like, like an insulated liner. Marcel should be here in a minute. It's 631. He usually gets here at 632. Wow! I, I was just zilking and look. 
632. Marcel's here. Daryl's here. Morning. All right, we are out of here at 646. Everybody showed up on time. Sure, sort of mixed time speaking. Hey, it's Ryan from Victory. I have a eight o'clock, four yard, six bag, low chert air, microfiber, five inch slump, and this is the chinchilla brown color. All right, thank you. Concrete's ordered. Okay, stop. They don't take much air. Yeah, it's, it's just a teeny, teeny How bit, much is man. In that one? Almost none. Yeah, I got air shocks, man. All right, gas today is 508 per gallon. Of course, I use Ultimate or Premium in the small equipment, which is 584.9 right now. There you go. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, I am on the job, ready to go. Grab the tape and start taping. Okay. Ball two. That's the most time consuming thing. I'm gonna run a two rebar parallel all the way through the border. Make sure it's nice and strong. And then before we pour the interior, we'll doll it all in every two and a half feet. Morning, girls. Uh, you can get the cameras out from my truck. I mean, it'll set up in 20 minutes. What are you gonna do with that? Especially the concrete this year, it's blowing up when it's 70 degrees. What's it gonna do when it's 95? It comes out of the chute, it just crosses over. He's got your hat on. Can we need your vocal? A bow float, Eric. Think about what we're pouring. A lot of it. A 16-inch border. Yeah, you can bow float. I want to see how you do it. What are you guys doing? I'll show them the Navy yeah, Seal burpee. Something. Navy Seal burpee. Yeah. All right. That's just one. <laughs> That's one. That's one. I only think I get to like 50%. I'm serious. It's taking forever. Super late. 25 minutes late already. I'm gonna call him. Hey, Steve Ryan from Victory. Just uh, waiting on my eight o'clock load. Looks like he just left the yard, Ryan, and I got no explanation. Okay, thanks. Okay. Yeah, bye. He just left the yard. Yeah, it's gonna be 20 minutes. Oh, you want me to buy you knee board? Wow. $32 for this. Yeah, right. Hey. Concrete's here! 43 minutes late, but it's here. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! He's driving away. Morning. We're going off the driveway. You got your waiver? Stay in the middle of the driveway. Avoid the edges. There's a car behind you. Kind of risky, man. I had my dump truck up here, though. I think it's pretty good. You ready? I'm ready. All right. Put a couple gallons in there. Strike the gas. I hit the can. Daryl, you hit the can on the very first buggy. Marcel's. So it's Marcel's fault? Yeah. I could Look at the color of that concrete, oh, man. <laughs> You should be able to fit your full mag under, under there. there. Yeah, right here. Put your, put your mag right under there. Yeah, make sure you don't splatter none. Turn your shovel backwards like Bugs taught you guys. Quite a bit of border here. It's 128 feet of border.
So when you're floating these edges on borders, the water on the patio is running off and it has to run right off the border. So always double check as you go with the two foot level. Make sure your border's pitched, which I already checked. And then when you edge this, you gotta make sure you don't roll that edge. If you roll this edge right here, the water will come down and it'll pool right there where the border meets the interior of the patio and it'll leave a puddle. You leave a puddle there, you're gonna have a very upset customer that's not gonna wanna pay you for an otherwise beautiful job. Let's just give it like five, 10 minutes. And then, uh, then when we edge it, we can finish it and hit it one time and done. Oh, just hold the string. You don't need the tape measure. Just hold the string till it hits here. There, and I'll, I'll just set it like you would otherwise. I do. Why do you ask me that? You already know the answer. Come on. Hey, he said, don't you just love concrete? If Daryl makes a mess with that color concrete right there in the driveway. <laughs> Daryl, you can't get any color on the driveway. All right, concrete's all down. That went really good. We're gonna go ahead and start edging. We're gonna do this one time. We're gonna edge and finish at the same time. And then it's gonna be release and stamps. And that's it. Start right there in the sun and go that way, sun first, back to shade. I'm gonna get this little part because this was in the sun. Eric, you've been doing concrete long enough, you should know how to get that flat. Flat, flat. Okay. All right, we're gonna get this all edged up nice. We're edging against the house too. Yeah. Guys are just coming around edging making their way around i'm gonna start pulling the boards on this threshold it might be a little wet but i'm gonna give it a shot see what happens all right let's see if it sinks oh, it's right on the edge of sinking but it did not sink it's just so chocolatey it's so chocolatey looking makes you want to make s'mores Oh, this is like finishing chocolate. So cool. I'll get the pins where we're stamping. You get over there where we're not stamping for like a half an hour. Put some release on the stamps. Oh, looks pretty good. Yeah, you're gonna go that way, I'm gonna go this way. And we'll get all the way in, the, get all the sun and then work towards the shade. You're gonna need a guy with you to hold up edges because they all hang over. Eric and Francisco. They're probably by their lunch boxes if I had to guess. We each need one guy. Like right now you gotta hold this up until I finish stamping the next one. Help Marcel. Lunchtime is later. You're going to get Rolos out of your lunchbox, <laughs> right? <laughs> Those yeah. Where'd you go with that roller thing? You ready? Let me roll your face. <laughs> it looks like they ran me over. <laughs> it's really good. Yeah, it's really good. It's gonna be fun. Yeah, sure.
don't like when you say oops. The worst word a boss can hear in a concrete job. Oops. I'm gonna give it a few minutes in the shade here. It's pretty wet, Marcel. Once you get to the shade, you're probably gonna have to stop for a minute too. All right, we are coming along with the stamps. Marcel's to the shade, just about. And I made it into the shade. Now I actually have to wait just a few minutes because it's soft. Sun worked with us again today instead of working against us. And it's working out absolutely perfect. You pretty much gotta use the floppy the whole way. Yeah. Every single one. You just you just keep turning it. No, for real, where is he? I'm stamping the concrete. We'll see what Daryl's doing. Are you busy? Yeah, I'm busy. <laughs> hey, Daryl's busy, so we're on our own. We're gonna have to try to just do it without him. If you see any little cracks or anything, touch it up with your finger. So there's three of them. One, two, three. Oh, one. the hive? Yeah, that is so cool. They're all swarming over there. I'm too busy to go bee watching. I'm actually working. <laughs> can I, can actually we can go watch the bees some more, yeah. We're gonna go look at the bees for a second. <clears throat> I think they're really cool. Our bees are becoming less and less around, but this guy's got three of them, three hives. Look at that. All right, I just got to stamp the threshold and we are done. It turned out great. I can't wait for this patio all done. It's going to look so nice. Imagine if they were like really tricky shapes. I don't know what you would do. You'd have, to, you'd have to have an app on your phone. You take a picture of it and then it shows you where to put the lines in. Yeah, right. I should invent that. All right, that's it. I'm super happy with the way that turned out. The stamp is nice and crisp. The concrete did not get hard. It was just perfect. Everything is clean and crispy. And I really like the color. This top color that I use is called Walnut. It's a real dark brown. So basically you're gonna have like a milk chocolate with dark chocolate on top. Once I, uh, once I wash it and seal it, you'll be able to see those colors really good. Right now I know it looks weird, but that's not how it's gonna look when it's done. And now the interior of this patio is gonna be stamped with the aggressive slate texture some guys call it rough stone it's pretty much the same thing and then i'm gonna saw cut all the lines all the joints on a 45 with this form here i gotta hit that post i'd like to hit that well head too with one of the joints so there's certain things you gotta hit here's a roller daryl it's only a little roller you can't get workman's comp from that sorry they won't believe you. It's one thing about stamping, it is a messy job when you use a powdered release. I know a lot of guys don't like powder release and don't use it. I still prefer it. I know there's different methods, but as far as looking natural, I haven't seen anything that looks as good as powdered release. Some guys might disagree with that, but that's just my opinion. If you disagree with that, that's okay. That's one thing that's interesting about the internet is guys like to fight all the time that their way is the best way, that their way is the only way. All I do here is I show you my way, and I never say my way is the best way or the only way, I just show you how I do it. Everybody has their favorite ways of doing things, and if, if you do it different, that's fine. If you're successful, I'm happy for you. No problem with that, we can be friends, right? Of course we can, we can all get along. We stamped a 60 yard driveway once, one shot, one pour. We had like five guys pouring, they just kept pouring. We were both floating edging. We were out there, we were stamping with the big mats. We had like seven or eight big stamps and we were just flying. Me and this one guy, 60 yards, boom, done. And it was easy money. Wow, you can carry your cooler on your float hook. All right, I apologize for the wind noise. We are done here, it's about lunchtime. Actually, it's a little bit before lunchtime. The borders went really good. They were 128 feet long. The texture and the stamp turned out real crispy and nice. I'm real happy with it. Along the wall here, I used that texture roller like you saw. And I, that was the first time I've ever used them. And it, it worked really good. A lot easier than using a texture skin and going along. Threshold turned out real nice. So all we have left now is the center. Like I said earlier, it's about 1,200 square feet. It's pretty big. We still got to hook up one downspout. Obviously put wire mesh in. We're going to drill rods every two feet all along the border and put dowels in there. 
but that's about it. We're doing that on Monday tomorrow. We're pouring the patio with the pillars and the walls. I'm really looking forward to seeing that one finish. So, all right, I'm out of here. I'll see you guys in the morning. Adios. Oh, adios. Adios. Hasta luego. Adios, amigos. Adios. Hey, peace out. Adios. I'm gonna buy you guys lunch at uh, 52's since it's early and I'm happy with how it turned out. Did I take power buggy? Right. I'm not waiting for you. That thing's oh, not very fast. No. Imagine seeing Daryl on the freeway with the buggy. <laughs> and he'd be in the left lane. How can you do that? Semi trucks just <laughs> screaming. Okay, let's go. Dump him in the ditch, man. They had to park the truck way down the road because the sheriff didn't want us parking in the street. It's been hot the last couple days. Really hot, so they deserve lunch. All right, we're gonna have lunch here at my favorite restaurant, B52s. Jimmy, you're not working. We just got done. These are my this is, these are my guys and my girls. This is these are two of my daughters, Autumn and Hannah. And this is Eric and Francisco. And that's Daryl the Destroyer. They have to pretend they like me because I'm buying lunch. Hey, what's up, man? How's it going? You got the whole crew today, huh? Uh, those are the, 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 the money counters, right? Those two, yeah. yeah. She's the number one money maker for me now. Yeah, she's making my videos now. If we could blend that, put in a blender with a straw. <laughs> yeah, with the straw. You know how gross that would be? A mushroom and Swiss in a blender? Ugh. <laughs> I'm gonna come here and be like, can I get the diet? They would know what you want. I have the same thing every time. Victory style salad. I told them they should rename it.